Hey guys, my name is Solar Sharif from the Gaming Boys, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create, yes I said create, your own screen recorder for Mac. So now, from now on, after you watch this video, you'll know how to create your own screen recorder. And the best thing is, you don't need programming experience for this. All you need is Xcode, but you don't need to know how to use it, guys, because I'm a pro, and I'm going to teach you guys. Just kidding, I've been just using it for a few months now. But still, you now never going to need to use par third party, well, not third party, but screen recording software as a like QuickTime Media Player, because now you can use your very own screen recorder. So before I continue to the video, since I'm making my own screen recorder, this is the probably the last time I'm using QuickTime. So let's give it an honorable stop screen recording. Three, two, one, go. So guys, to start off, all you're going to need to want to do is open up your web browser. Click the link in the description. I'll post it down. And you'll be led to this website called Google Drive. You must know what that is. So in this drive, you'll see a file called AV Screen Shack. This is the software we'll be using to actually do our stuff. So this is the source code. So all we're going to do actually is edit the source code. Not actually code it, but... You'll get to understand the code a bit of it, and if you study the code for a few days, you'll probably learn how to make it from scratch. But right now, all we're going to do is edit the source code. So let's get started. So first of all, go to the website. It's in the description, as I said. So then you're just going to want to click this download button. It's pretty straightforward. So click on it. I'm going to take you here. And your file should be in your downloads folder. So let me take out AV Screen Shack. That's the file. Let me just replace this. Cause so now you're just going to want to close up your web browser. And see this file over here. Just put it into the middle of your desktop where you can see it. And then you're just going to want to double click it. Open it up. So there's a readme.txt. All the files. What you're going to want to open up is the Xcode project. So you're going to double click on that. It's going to ask you this. You're going to say open because otherwise it won't open. And then it should load up like this. So over here you're going to want to click this arrow. It'll load this part AV Screen Shack. And this is what you're going to see. You might be confused because you've never used Mac before or something. But all you're going to want to need to really do is go to this AV Screen Shack screen document. And this main XIB. So in the av screen shack document dot xib you will see this window and it'll show crop rect scale max frame rate and i don't know what these buttons do so let me just delete them because i kind of want to make this my own so let me add the frame rate let me just move that here remember guys you can do all of this if you want but this is optional keep a start buttons here and capture mouse clicks I'll just put that here so now let's get on to editing the app properly so you're gonna wanna go to the main menu dot xib whatever this is and over here it's gonna say AV Screen Shack why is it supposed to say that it's supposed to say your own recorder so I'm gonna call this the best recorder ever best recorder Okay, so guys, now it says the best recorder there. Let, let me just copy that because I'm too lazy. Okay, guys. Sorry, I'm a lazy guy. So go here and then over here you're going to write not about AV Shack. You're going to write your own thing here. And then over here you're just going to want to write your own app's name right here too. So now like you've set up the top part of your menu, just checking if there's anything else to do with the thing. So as you can see at the top over here, it says Xcode. So when I launch my app, it'll say the best recorder over there. So that's pretty cool to see your own name up there. You could write your own name. If your name's Bob, just write Bob up there. Bob's recorder, I don't know. Just do what you want. So now we're going to go to the, our, this thing, whatever it's called. And then just change the bundle. So let's enable the signing. Whatever this is called. Let's name it Solar Show. And I do not want to register it as that. So I'm going to do com.solarsharif.dabestrec. 
Now, guys, please don't copy this. It won't do you any good. I'm telling you guys. It's just going to make your lives ruined. I don't know if it will, actually, but let's just say it will ruin your lives. As you can see, I'm still using QuickTime because I haven't actually fixed this. But, I mean, made my own recorder. But soon, you're dead, QuickTime. No harm. I, I love QuickTime. I still love you, QuickTime. But... From now on, the best recorder is the best. So over here, we're going to go to our main menu.xib. I mean, the avshag document.xib. And over here, we're just going to want to, you know, do whatever you want. I guess you could change the custom view size. And you could add a few text labels. Let's see if we can add a label. I'm not sure if we can, but let's just try see as you can see you can add your own label over here and in the label let me just write something like the best recorder obviously best recorder so once it's written the best recorder up there you're just gonna want to do that okay it can't really go up there so let's just keep it here and you know what that looks good let me just make it a bit bigger so it says the best recorder there you can pretty much customize this but right now you can really make this small I'll show you what this does next it's really cool this is almost like a high-tech screen recorder it is actually a high-tech you can even set set like capture mouse clicks and all that rubbish but not actually rubbish i mean that's pretty interesting capture mouse, mouse clicks so if you want to see the code for this just open up assistant editor and like you will see a bunch of this stuff let me just resize this so it fits my screen so you guys can see all the code as you can see up here if you scroll all the way down you will see where this is actually being saved see over here it says desktop so if you want to save it in a custom path, all you're going to want to need to do is go here, create a folder. I created one called srec files. Inside the folder, you're going to want to, wait, sorry about that. That's a test recording. You guys are going to want to create a new folder. Just keep it like, call it untitled folder. And over here, you're going to want to click get info. So over here you'll see this thing. All you're gonna want to need to do is copy this desktop and srec files. You're just gonna want to do Command C, close that up, and then you're gonna want to open up Xcode. Just click open Xcode, and where it says desktop here, you're just gonna want to do put your own thing in. So we'll keep the slash at the end, and then we'll just do Command V. And we're not supposed to be getting that thing, so let's just delete the user. So we'll say desktop.srec files. So now that's done, we can actually test our project. So right now, what is this supporting files? This is the info.plist. These are the frameworks, and these are the products. What's this? Okay, whatever that is. So let me just see. Uh, use asset catalog okay whatever so guys you can explore it more to create a custom app icon and do the rest later but right now all I'm gonna show you guys is how this works so we're gonna rename that the best recorder cuz it's the best recorder and then we're what is this don't rename Okay, whatever I did was of something, but just do that if you can. And let's just run this, and I'll show you how it works. So you're going to want to run your project. So if you explore a bit more, you can actually rename it. But right now, just for this video's sake, I'm not going to rename it. I'm just going to show you guys how the app looks. So inside this, you will see a screen recorder, as you can see. I mean, it looks a bit weird now because this is this literally what's displaying on your thing. So why is it saying AV Screen Shack up there? So let me just check this out. 
I might have not edited it properly. It's supposed to say the best recorder. Let me just check what's wrong up there. So, yeah, I think I opened the wrong project. So, I'll see you guys when I'm done fixing all these bugs. So, wait one second, guys. I'll be right back. So, see you then. So, guys, I found out I was having a bit of bugs with Xcode. So, like, I don't know why it's not updating up here. That Why it doesn't say my custom the best recorder but if you click on this as you can see the other stuff have reset and you can see it says quit the best recorder and about the best recorder and yeah so once you run your project you'll get this you can start a recording i can't really start one because i'm already using another screen recorder and they both don't go well together but you can see this preview window over here so if you do capture mouse clicks and you click this preview will show a circle around your clicks as you can see in the recording switch it off it won't show so it's a pretty high-tech recorder you can add your max frame rate or you could just make it trashy so as you can see in that photo it's really laggy but if you put this up you get some max frame rates which is pretty cool so guys if you now if you really want to export it to your desktop i'm going to show you guys how to do that so all you're going to want to really do is just minimize this up right click options show and finder so you're just going to want to show that and just drag your file to your desktop now once you've done that all you do is click enter rename it the best recorder whatever i might have spelled it wrong but doesn't really matter as you can see now my app's called the best recorder wait let me just quit that and now let me just double click on this one it's called the best recorder over here so now you can put your app online and publish it if you want and just do whatever you want but mostly you can use it to screen record your own screen have a good time instead of using QuickTime. and yeah guys that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it and goodbye make sure to like comment and subscribe goodbye and goodbye QuickTime too goodbye